Hi everybody, it's Kelly, BC Tactical. Tonight's morale patch is brought to you by Native Americans. This patch was made, this patch was made by Violent Little Machine Shop. Turn in your arms, the government will take care of you. We know how that ended, so uh, I'm going to give a shout out to all my Native American friends out there. I'm sorry for what happened. I wasn't there, but had I been, I would have been on your side, my friend. Uh, I don't think it was right. I still don't think it was right. You guys, I'm so sorry. So there we go. Red lives matter tonight. Brown lives matter. Everybody's life matters, man. So, all right, to the Native Americans. Uh, I did see in the newspaper the other day that uh, we have a Native American casino uh, a few miles down the road, and uh, they said that they were given all Caucasians that showed up because of the COVID thing, I guess. People are scared still to go places, and they're not doing business as well, so they said any Caucasians that show up at the, uh, at the Native American casino gets a free blanket. So there's that. All right. Let's go on with tonight's review. Here we are, straight from Wuhan, China. <laughs> straight from Wuhan, China. See, I ordered this on Wish because a lot of you cats out there email me and say, Kelly, man, why don't you order stuff on Wish? Well, it's usually cheap $2 junk. Like this guy, I did this review on Wish, bench made, it should say, made so anyway you want to see me do that again bench made it should say made all right so there's that here we go what do we have today well i did a video about a walking stick and then, let me get the walking stick here we go i'm walking over to get this walking stick here we come you can hear it there it is right there all right so we got this bad dude walking stick weighs like 17 pounds look at it Look at it, it does all kinds of stuff. You can take it apart, use it for a billy club, you can walk with it, you can talk with it. You can do just about everything you want to with that thing. Uh, and if anybody tells you you can't, you just hit them with it. So anyway, but it is heavy. And a lot of you cats have said, man, ain't nobody in their right mind gonna use that. Well, I'm probably not in my right mind. So I might use it, but anyway, it was a gift for my wife's grandmother and I love it. But this one was cheap and it came from Wish. Straight out of Wuhan, China, man. So we're gonna open this guy up and we're gonna see what we get. $2 switchblade. I wish was a bench made. Let's see what's in this box today. Stuff in plastic. Let's find out what's in this one today. A hot dog holster. A hot dog holster now. We had a hot dog holster similar with this guy. So you could carry your walking stick in a package on your side if you want, instead of using it for a walking stick. But anyway, I digress. This is what we got. So here we are. One piece, two piece, Three piece, four piece. Come on, man, stick your finger in it. Five pieces, and this one has this uh, this foamy little handle thing. All right, that's awesome, man. Now, I went with the tall guy version because for some reason in Wuhan, China, they have like uh, not a good tall person population. So I ordered an extra one there. In this plastic one, came with an extra one here. This is like 106 centimeters, 120 centimeters, 146 centimeters. I said, just give me the longest one. So it cost me a couple of bucks extra. All right, let's see what's all in this. Oh man, I hope that wasn't something that would stab me. It was. All right, so here we go. Screwdriver. This is the regular flat bit. And this one is a regular Phillips bit. This looks like 
a walking stick tip. Sticks in the ground. Uh, this is uh, a magnesium fire starter, a ferrocium fire starter, and a uh, uh, compass. Uh, here is a blade. Here is a blade. I'm not going to even bother explaining all of the stuff like can openers and all that. You know what they are. And then here's this. It is a mushroom cap. I'll show you in a minute. All right. So number one, we got this guy right here. Hmm. It's got a little piece of plastic in the end of it. Wonder what it's for. Okay, this little piece of plastic in the end of it. That's to put your screwdriver in. I think. Something like that. Yeah, there it is. Put the screwdriver in there. Uh, it's plastic. So hopefully your screw is <laughs> your screw is not all rusted up. And uh, it's free. Because if not uh, so that's another thing which you're going this way with it you're tightening the screw if you want to unscrew something it, it basically just unscrews it out of the end of the handle but hey that's okay you know usually I don't need a walking screwdriver kit okay so here's this guy you can open this uh, little thing up it's got like this little whistle all right, so you can alert the rangers to where you're lost. Uh, it's got your fair seam rod there. And this goes right in there just like this. All right, one thing I don't like. It makes a lot of noise. I don't want that making noise when I'm out walking around. Yeah. All right, I'm taking that off. Okay, so here we go with this. Here's one of our parts that came with it. You can see, kind of look through that, see what you can see. It's got some little uh, terrible O-rings on it. Wrong end, Kelly. It's got some little terrible O-rings on it so you can almost waterproof this thing, but it won't. That's okay. This thing Uh, this thing is plastic too. So why why you put plastic on a little metal knife blade that you're gonna have to do something with? I don't understand. But anyway, there's that. So we're gonna attach this guy to this guy, and now you've got a knife on your hiking stick. Now we're gonna put another piece of hiking stick on here. It's modular. Hey, that's my word of the day. Now, if you wanted to, if you needed to, if you were like, uh, if you were like a three-year-old or something, this could be your entire walking stick, you know. Or if you lived in like the land of Oz, this could be your entire walking stick right there. But it's not going to be because we're taller people. I'm a taller person. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna put this one on here Could you use this for a blow gun? You could if your blow dart was this big So I'm gonna put another one on here and it just keeps giving man. It just keeps on giving if you order this without ordering the extra pieces It's gonna be two pieces less. So so far I got one two three four Five six so you're gonna get four pieces that's to include the handle. So one, two, three, four. No, you'll get five pieces to include the handle. I can't count. All right, so here's this guy, and it's got like this little thing on the end, so you can like, hey, you can use it for a fork. Uh, you can use it for a knife. But see, you can stab your food with it, and then you can eat it. Or you could use it for a frog gig, or a lance pole or something for a fish. As long as that fish wasn't very big and, and strong because it also is set in plastic plastic all right so there's that one I got two more of these tubes to go so everybody that wanted something that was lighter 
or cheaper. This is lighter and it's cheaper. It's going to cost you 12 bucks to ship it because it comes straight from Wuhan, China. And you know how those things are. They take forever to get here. Anyway, so here's this guy. And as you can see, it is a thinner, much thinner wall than, than this dude that weighs 14 pounds or 17 or whatever it was. Because this guy, man, this dude is a beast. You can tell when it doesn't make that noise. This dude's a beast, man. It is a heavy duty, much heavier duty, thick wall deal, man. So here's this guy, and here's this guy. Obvious. Obvious. Can't use them. They won't work together, so you can't use them together or whatever. But anyway, so is this one bad because of that? Not at all. Hey, man. I've already, I've already put it together, and I can tell you, it is strong. I'm not going to do chin-ups on it. No, I'm not. Here's the end right here. Check it out. So now I've got two knives. I've got a compass. And let's see. What else was in there? Whistle and all that other stuff. Does the compass work? You know, everybody always wants to test that stuff. Hey, they've got a piece of genuine imitation 550 cord on the end of it. Let me see if it works. If you know where north is, you can tilt it and make it go to north. But it looks cool if you're walking through the park and you know exactly where you're going. All right, so I left the screwdriver out. Probably a huge mistake, but I'll probably wrap it in a piece of toilet paper and stick it in there. Why? Because you always need toilet paper. That's why I have so many t-shirts with one sleeve. All right, so uh, this guy right here goes on your tip. You can see where it's threaded right here. This is called a snow break. And you've seen ski people with poles and stuff. It's got those big things on there. It just keeps your pole from pushing all the way through to the very bottom of everything. So, wish.com. Look for this cat right here. I'll try to drop a link, man, if I can think of it. Much lighter weight. It's nice and tall. It should be 146 centimeters because that's what they said. I would say this weighs about the same as a maybe a one and a half. 20 ounce Mountain Dew. So maybe, what is that? 30, 30 ounces. <laughs> 30 ounces. I don't know. Haven't weighed it, but maybe I will one day if somebody asks me to. While I'm here, I want to give a huge shout out to a new subscriber and a number one friend of mine, Stuart, the platypus hunter. Now, for any of you who haven't heard of Stuart the Platypus Hunter, he does his work in Australia. He's very good at it. And uh, when you get a knife that is made with the uh, platypus leather sheath, I can almost guarantee you that it probably came from uh, Stuart the Platypus Hunter because there's not a lot of people vying for that job. You know, hey, look it up, man. Platypus dangerous. They're poisonous and stuff. That's right. All right, so this is my platypus stick, and this is for when I'm not going around platypus, because I am scared to death of the platypus, man. Anything with the with the duck bill and the beaver head or whatever. All right, so there we have it. Beautiful review of a less than heavy walking stick for all you guys, girls, saints, and sinners out there. Just know that Kelly's thinking about you. BC Tactical, out.